Hello, welcome back to Tung Sawang Mushroom Farm. Um, got a bit of a rush job on my hands today. Um, I've got, I think it's 2,000 bags arriving. Well, I've got to collect them on, I think it's Saturday or maybe Monday. Um, so within the next couple of days. And I plan to put them in our second grow room, which we just finished building. Um, but I've been told by the supplier that the particular mushrooms prefer a higher temperature. So um, this this is grown room two that we've just completed. And if you've seen the other videos, you know we, we use the um, Hessian sacking and hose it down to keep the temperature down. Because currently even in in the main barn here it, in the shade it's 34 degrees believe it or not um, but by um, hosing the hessian sacking down and, and keeping the humidifier on we can keep maintain about 27 degrees which is great for the mushrooms that are in here um, but the mushrooms that are coming on, uh, in the next few days are their, their preferred temperatures around 34 degrees so what I've decided to do is put something together. I've got to get it up quick um, and I don't want to chuck a load of money at it um, in case it's not right. So um, I'll, I'll just flip the camera around. Yeah, so what I've decided to do is um, if, you, if you see this um, block wall uh, and then there, there's the, the roof of the barn. The block wall is at two meters high. So what I'm going to do is, is run some cable, which I've got here, this, this uh, steel cable. I'm going to run that around all four posts. So from post to post there is six meters. Then it's four meters to that post and then another six meters across. So I'm going to run a cable all the way around the perimeter um, and then on this side I'll run cables going across six meters long and then I've got these just they're just cheap tarps um, so they will I've got a three a three meters by four I've got two of them so so that that will do what I'm calling the ceiling and what I'm trying to do here is to retain the temperature in the room but also the humidity so I'm going to fix on this back wall here I'm going to use some soil pipe uh, and plumbing the humidif humidifier so we'll be blowing in humidity and then with pu putting these tarps all the way round that will help maintain the humidity within the tent whatever you want to call it um, it's not completely airtight I don't want that um, I'll just flick round yeah, so go, going back to um, the air, air quality is really important. Um, I found it more so in Thailand that um, they really do need a lot of fresh air. So I don't want to completely seal this unit off. So, you know, there'll be air getting in through gaps between the tarpaulin and so on. And the fan will be blowing in the humidity. So I'm, I'm going to crack on with this and then as the build goes on so I'll get the cable in set up first and then we'll we'll come back add on to this video so you'll see that cable in and then once the cabling's up in honesty the tarpaulin will I'll just cable tie it up it'll I, I can see me getting this knocked up within a couple of hours um, and it, that kind of demonstrates how you can build things easily and simply it doesn't have to be over the top I mean I, given I, I'm fortunate to have the space and I can play around with stuff um, but certainly in Thailand uh, you don't need sort of super steeled units um, but uh, yeah gives you an idea anyway but yeah I hope you enjoy it um, like and subscribe um, it helps us grow the channel and uh, may give you some good ideas for, for yourselves if you're setting up okay that's it for now I'll, I'll come back to you when I get the next bit done Okay, so I've got the main cable up now um, and I just wanted to show you, so I've just 
as you can see it just literally goes around the outside of each of the pillars and then it's joined here so that so this is it's steel cable three mil um, I paid I think it was about 400 bar for 200 meters so it's really cost effective and then these little clamps um, they're about five bar each now on, on the main cable I always like to double clamp it either side just for that security and then we've got this tensioner so I'll, I'll screw that up to pull tension in the cable and then the next stage will be just to run some additional cables so every I'm probably gonna put five or six so ev maybe every 600 mil I'll, I'll put one running across to, just to give some support for the tarpaulin on the ceiling so there we go I'll uh, update more in a bit okay so that's the cabling up now so I'll put one two three yeah, yeah four extras in so just use the uh, clamps there and then the next stage is to drape the roof panels over the top cable tie them in position and then off this cable we can drop the sides in same round there